I'm gonna call it now that I think this selection trick you're about to learn inside of Photoshop is gonna be the best tip you've learned in 2023. Now, it is only January, but I bet you this one will still hold up at the end of the year because selections are such a big area and when you see the difference in, in just one little setting that we're about to look at here, it makes a huge impact. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so the, the tool is under the select menu, it's called select subject. All right, and I've been using this, it's been around for, for quite a while. Let's turn on that layer. Uh, select subject's been around for, for quite a while here. And you could click on it, it would make a selection. And if you were to put you know mask or do something with that selection here, uh, you can see I already did that on a layer. The original version looked like this. And this is pretty much my experience with the tool and most other experiences is it, it, it did select our subject, but not perfectly. And we typically had to go and use, you know, the select and mask window uh, or something to refine it. So then at some point I realized while using the object selection tool or the quick selection tool, while using either one of those tools, you get a button up top that says select subject. That's been there for a while. I started noticing this little arrow next to it that's got an option for device, which is quicker, or cloud, which is more detailed. So I started, I tried the cloud option and I compared the two. Holy crap, take a look. Look at the difference there. The left is the device, the right is the cloud option. That's a big difference. There's a lot of detail. In fact, the cloud option doesn't really even leave us with really any work to do after it. It did, a, it did a very, very clean selection of the fur and the edges there compared to what we had on the right-hand side. So then I went up to the select menu and I did select subject and I found select subject defaults to the device option. And there's no way to change it going through the menu. You would have had to click one of these tools and use the button up there and change that. But that would always default back to device. Lo and behold, if you go up here to your Photoshop preferences and go down to image processing, uh, I believe preferences under the edit menu on a PC, go under to image processing, you will see select subject has an option to default it to cloud. So I would suggest right now, go and turn that on. It's under the image processing preferences section uh, inside of Photoshop. So go ahead and turn that on. Now, if you were to go to the select menu and choose select subject, it'll use cloud. If you were to use either of these tools, you won't have to go and select cloud each time. It'll automatically use cloud and then you could switch it back to device. What are advantages of device? I don't know too many. Um, it's a little bit faster. This image took what, five, six, seven seconds on the cloud, maybe one second with the device. So maybe it's a little bit faster. What I would say is some images, you're not gonna notice much of a difference. Left is device, right is cloud. The cloud did miss a little piece of the umbrella. This was just a levitation composite. She's standing on something here that I was working on, but I thought it was a good example just to try a quick one on. And it's a little cleaner in some areas, not in a lot. It did miss this one area, but they're almost identical. Believe it or not, with hair, I found them to be very, very close with, with each other. With fur, I found it to be a little bit different. But it, again, it all depends on the photo, but I've almost never found cloud to be worse than device. I'm not saying it can't be, but most of the time I haven't. And then here's a eagle jumping out of a tree here. You can see uh, that's what the original photo looked like down there. So I tried both of them again. Left is device, right is cloud. And if we were to zoom in, we could see definitely some jaggies over here. Uh, missed a little bit of the background between the wings over here. And on the right hand side, cleans it up quite a bit. Uh, we don't see any of that background inside the wings or anything on the right hand side. And as I said, I think it's one of those things, you gotta play with it, learn, learn where it tends to shine and where maybe you don't see that big of a difference, but I think it's a setting you definitely need to turn on. Also, probably just as important, check out my Photoshop system course. <laughs> so uh, if you are, if you wanna learn more about layers and masking and selections and all the key tools in Photoshop, that's the stuff I go over, kind of beginner intermediate type of an area. I, I cut out all the stuff that you don't need to know because there's a lot of it in Photoshop. Not everything was meant for a photographer or it's current that you need to know. So I concentrate on the stuff that you do need to know to get you to, to that level of comfort into Photoshop to get you to that next place. So I hope you'll swing by the website, find out a little bit more.